When Adam Ford is an epibophilic serial killer, serial rapist, and possible necrophilia, was active in various locations of the U.S. and Canada because of his job as a truck driver. Ford was born on December 3, 1961 in Pitaluma, California, as the second son of an American father and a German mother. When Ford was only two years old, he fell off a step and hit his head. His parents divorced when Ford was ten years old and his father remarried, which upset Ford. In November 1980, an 18-year-old Ford was hit by a drunk driver causing another head injury and drastically changing his personality, gaining murderous and violent impulses in the process, which resulted in him being institutionalized several times. He would later discover that he had a severe case of borderline personality disorder. Ford was also arrested for beating prostitutes, animal cruelty, and for having oral sex with a 15-year-old which he was charged with attempted rape. Ford dropped out of high school and enlisted in the U.S. Marine Corps, serving for six years and being honorably discharged. 1985 after many infractions and write-ups, he was briefly married but eventually divorced. Ford then began driving delivery trucks for Sears and Wards but soon quit because the work was beneath him. Ford subsequently became a tire truck driver. Ford married for a second time to a woman named Elizabeth in 1994 and had a son named Max in 1995. Elizabeth described him as very distant, yet Ford claimed it was her that seldom let him see this son. They divorced in 1996 and she gained custody of Max. Ford continued working as a trucker and frequently used the service of prostitutes, engaging in various sex acts with them. He introduced himself as Adam during this time. Finally snapping one day, Ford began killing prostitutes to vent his anger towards his ex-wife. On October 17, 1997, Ford picked up his first victim, only identified as Jane Doe or Torso Girl, whom he raped, murdered and dismembered. Her torso was found days later by a duck hunter in Yorko, California. Months later, he picked up and strangled his next victim, a Las Vegas prostitute named Tiny Gibbs. Her body was found a month later. His third victim was Leonard White, whom he picked up as she was going to a grocery store near an Ontario truck stop. Her body was found in an irrigation canal days later. A month later, he picked up his next victim, Patricia Thames, following Tamer's murder. Ford began having suicidal thoughts and prayed more. On November 3, 1998, Ford told his older brother, Calvin Rodney Ford, that he had hurt people real bad. A day later, Ford and Calvin walked into the sheriff's station at Humboldt County, the location of his first murder, and Ford turned himself in at his brother's suggestion. He took Tamer's severed breast, wrapped in plastic, out of his pocket and confessed to several killings to the shocked attendant. Ford claimed to be remorseful about the crimes, which he had committed out of heck for his ex-wife and not because of a desire to hurt the victims, and that he had chosen to turn himself because he thought he was about to kill his ex-wife, and he didn't want to leave Max an orphan. Ford was arrested and charged with four counts of first-degree murder. He is currently on death row at California's San Quentin State Prison. Ford initially targeted prostitutes, but later began murdering hitchhikers. He would rape and then stab or strangle them to death, mutilate and dismember their bodies particularly by cutting off the breasts needed to the did to the to the scattering the pieces in the wilderness. Ford claimed that he was so drunk during the murders that he wouldn't be surprised if he had engaged in necrophilia with them, but could not say if he had really done it. Some of his victims' body parts were found in his freezer and showed signs that he had tried to cook them, though it doesn't appear he cannibalized any of them.